Hello everyone, this is Ricey and this is Quest Canada. Today in this video, we will talk about the newly launched pilot program by the province of New Brunswick. This is another way or another pathway created by the government of the province to invite people to come live, work here in New Brunswick. And stay tuned to know more about this program. As you guys can see, the little bunk there is sleeping, so I try to be as quiet as I can. But <laughs> so the uh, the province just released uh, back in November last month, the uh, beginning of the month, the new program called the New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot. So this pilot program is a five-year pilot program wherein it is designed to specifically fill positions that are hard. To fail now um, one or two caveats that I have to tell you though is that the eligibility requirements for these positions had not been identified yet and second the um, positions themselves had not been identified as yet I believe that the province is uh, on an ongoing process of specifying the requirements and eligibilities and all the um, open jobs required for such pilot program but the good news is the uh, companies that are identified or designated under this pilot program had already been uh, stated or had already been released and this are six companies here in New Brunswick. These companies are Coke Aquaculture, Group Savoie, Group Westco, Imperial Manufacturing, JD Irving Limited, and McCain Foods. Before these six companies became eligible partners under this pilot program, there were a variety of parameters that they had to achieve and tick the box on. And one of these uh, parameters is that they will have to provide uh, proper housing and transportation to the people that they hire. This allows the people or the newly uh, hired um, workers to adapt to the society better. I have released various videos in the past um, on the various problems that uh, we are experiencing here in the province. Uh, housing is a problem here. We do not have enough housing supply here. There are more demands than supply. With transportation, we do not have tram system. As a matter of fact, we do not have any train system across the Atlantic. Uh, well, we do, uh, but this train system is mainly designed for cargo. It's not necessarily designed uh, for people's transportation. And this is one of the responsibilities of an employer shall he hire this person or a skilled worker under this critical worker pilot. The second parameter is that they must have proper resource planning and on the job skills enhancement these are your training the certifications and uh, they are allowed to hire from international borders meaning people who are outside of canada can apply here they can be hired but again the employer must provide uh, the, the proper process of their recruitment and they must adapt or they must certainly provide enhancement or development of the skills of the personnel via training and education. The third parameter is that the employers should provide 200 hours of language training. Now, um, it has not, again, it has not been stated yet on the parameters or eligibility requirements for a candidate. Uh, this does not necessarily uh, say if it's French or English, but here in New Brunswick, we have got two official languages, uh, English and French. Now, uh, this language training can either be uh, either or or both of them. And the last one is that the employers must be open to providing support and guidance to the hired personnel shall the person want to pursue uh, secondary or Canadian secondary uh, education or its equivalency. Uh, if you notice, all of these uh, uh, requirements to be an eligible 
uh, employer under this pilot program is all about the growth progress and development of the worker and this is uh, an a testament to how the province wants its people to grow and progress within the province itself one thing worth mentioning though is that i do understand that not everybody can be or will be eligible in this pilot program but the good news is the uh, pilot program or this pilot program is just one of the various programs by uh, the government or uh, of this province there are other programs that you can choose from to come and move and immigrate here uh, in Canada and one of them is study permit if you are thinking of moving to Canada via study permit connect with me that's info at questcanadaca.com or visit my website and there are various downloadables there that are free for you to jumpstart your journey during the recording of this video the province has not um, released yet on who can apply under this pilot is it uh, uh, designated for international students or is it only designated for international uh, people who are outside of the country or is it for both just as long as they reach the eligibility requirements and you have to stay tuned in this channel because I will release a follow-up video as soon as the province releases the eligibility requirements for this pilot program what I would like to tackle here more specifically are the nature of these companies the six companies under this pilot program what you will notice is that most of them are all manufacturing companies cook aquaculture for example it is a seafood company that is owned by the cook family cook is a multinational company operating in latin america central america europe and of course north america and majority of its uh, operations in north america are located in canada i certainly suggest you guys visit the websites of these companies of all these six companies as soon as as soon as you finish this video it will only make sense for you to research about these companies what industries they are into and if their industry is somehow uh, connected or aligned with the kind of jobs that you have got experience on now uh, with cook aquaculture in their website you will find in the career page the various open jobs that they have right now although although they are not out yet hiring workers it will make sense for you guys to look at the companies look at their website and find jobs that they have right now so that you have an idea what exactly are the opportunities for you the second eligible company is called group savoir group savoir is a uh, hardwood processing company they have got sawmill uh, facilities and kiln drying facilities this company is aligned in the construction industry so they produce building materials uh, that is used for construction and again as i have mentioned in my past videos construction here in the province is booming more apartments are coming up more houses are being built and therefore there is so much demand for workers in this hardwood processing industry or even in the construction industry in general the third company is called group wesco it is a poultry farming company and they are originally from new brunswick as well and they are one of the largest uh, poultry farming companies across canada now i must tell you guys that if you go to the website of this company their website is rather basic and uh, they are located in the deep um, heart of new brunswick wherein they truly and deeply uh, speak french and uh, if you go to their website they do not necessarily have got a listed there the jobs that they have you will have to send in an email for uh, such inquiries nevertheless again it will make sense for you to make a research go on linkedin go on indeed.com uh, 
and try to search for the possible jobs that they are already uh, having or looking for uh, here in the province. The next company in this docket is called Imperial Manufacturing. Imperial Manufacturing is in the construction industry as well. If you will look at their website, you will find that they have got a variety of products that they supply such as ducting, galvanized steel, fencing, uh, stove and fireplace maintenance and so on and so forth that is aligned in the construction industry. So if you are watching this video and you belong or you work in the construction industry, it will make sense for you to watch out and search for this company. The fifth company included in this um, critical pilot program is a company called the JD Irving group of companies. JD Irving is one of the biggest companies here. The Irving family, as a matter of fact, is one of the richest families across Canada. They're one of the biggest employers here uh, across the Atlantic and certainly, certainly here in New Brunswick. They are originally from Booktush in New Brunswick. They have got a total of eight divisions under the JD Irving Limited group of companies and these eight divisions are agriculture construction consumer products food forestry retail and distribution shipbuilding and transportation and logistics with the breadth and depth of all these eight divisions it is certainly <laughs> absolutely uh, imperative that uh, you, you will have you guys watching will have so much opportunities on the various job openings uh, here at uh, JD Irving Group. The key now is for you to be ready. You have to prepare now. You have to be certainly aware of the eligibility requirements and be ready for them. And the last company in this docket or in this list is a company called McCain Foods. McCain Foods is the world's biggest manufacturer or producer of potato-based products. Uh, they are originally from New Brunswick and their products are essentially fries and the uh, potato patties that uh, we normally buy as frozen products in supermarkets. So that is the newest pilot program by the province of New Brunswick. It's, uh, it's very new, it's fresh off the grill. It was relaunched back or it was launched back first week of uh, November this year, 2022. And the government will release various uh, information on how a person can be eligible, how a person can apply for it, and uh, the help or the various um, help and guidance of the various companies towards their people shall they hire a person under this pilot program again be sure to uh, tune in to this channel if you want to know more about this program because i will release various information as soon as the government releases those information